how to add your Instagram feed to your WordPress website. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how you can add your Instagram feed to your website in WordPress. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is simply open up your WordPress website, the website that you are creating. You will open up the dashboard. Now, when it comes to creating your own blogs or portfolio websites on WordPress, we need to add our Instagram feed. And by feed, I mean a whole feed. People will be able to check out your Instagram through your website. So it's super easy to do. Let's get started. Once you have simply opened up your dashboard, you will simply scroll down to your plugins. Right here in plugins, go to add new. Now, what I want you to do is you will simply search for smash balloon. And what you will find is this right here. This is a plugin for your Instagram feed. There are other plugins as well, but smash balloon actually has, you know, plugin for each and every platform and it's separated. For example, they have a, you know, plugin for Facebook. They have it for Twitter as well. You can go with different social media managing, um, you know, plugins as well, but smash balloon is really good because it's just going to be for your Instagram. So let's say you just want to add your Instagram, right? so you will simply you know install this one this one is actually pretty good smash balloon social photo feed and this is going to be for instagram feed where we will be able to display our customizable responsive instagram feed and it has more than 1 million active installations and more than 3000 five star review you will simply click on install now and then click on activate once you have activated your plugin then you will find it right here instagram feed let's open it up and add our instagram feed to our website on wordpress so adding a feed is really easy we will simply you know first we will create a layout for the feed and then we will simply embed our feed to our layout that we have created on our wordpress so i will simply click on add new now i have to select the feed type this is going to be my instagram profile that will uh, you know this right here this feed on wordpress will fetch photos from my profile on instagram so i will simply click on next with the advanced feed and with the pro plan you can actually go with public hashtags and tagged photos as well for example it will also fetch photos that are tagged and public hashtags too with this simple feed we will simply go with this one and click on next now you have to add a source of course where you will add you know your feed click on add source now what you have to do is you have to select your account type this is where we connect our instagram to our wordpress website and what you have to do is first select the account type personal business so if you want to go with a you have a business account that you want to add to your wordpress you will select business if you are going with a personal one you will simply add personal then we have connect an instagram account and give us only access to your instagram post so this is actually pretty amazing now what i will do is i will simply click on log in with instagram and i will log into my account that i want to add to my you know website right here so let me go ahead and you know log in with my instagram but i'm not gonna actually you know add my personal um instagram to my website now the process is very easy you will simply you know log in with your instagram and then your feed will be connected to your wordpress if you want to go with a manual option and you already have an api access token to your website so you will simply add your username and your api right here you will add your uh, token and then you will add your instagram id and then you will be able to add it without opening up the app once you have add the source the next step is very easy you will simply be able to check out your feed that you have on instagram let's say this is my feed that i wanted to add to my instagram you can simply select a layout as well uh, you will simply you know select what kind of layout you want for your feed of course instagram has its own layout on this app on instagram but with your own wordpress website you will be able to you know create different layouts with it that's like the last step once you have connected and then your instagram feed will be added 
to your wordpress website that's super easy to do and then if uh, somebody will you know click on your website on wordpress they will be able to check out your feed and this is how it works when whenever you will post on your feed on instagram it will be automatically you know updated on your wordpress as well so don't worry if you're thinking that you will have to you know add your post again and again and you will now have to post on your uh, website as well so that's not how it works it will be connected to your feed so simply you know uh, make sure that you connect your own account and there should be no you know security or privacy uh, reasons and make sure to add all the information correct so that you don't have any problem and there is nothing to worry about it's totally secure to add your instagram feed to your own wordpress website of course if it's for somebody else you can connect their instagram too uh, but it is very secure to add your photos and pictures on your website it really helps you with your portfolio websites and you have your own personal blog that's when we need to add our own instagram feed to our website so now you know how to do that with wordpress with this plugin right here which is completely free you can upgrade to the pro plan but with the free plan you will be able to add more than one account on your wordpress website once you have connected your feed to your wordpress website then you will be able to avail all of these different features and tools and you will be able to show what your feed looks like on your website it's very easy to do once you have added the feed then you will be able to manage it with your wordpress admin too so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to tell you everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to add your instagram feed to your wordpress website don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel